Hey guys, a particular problem that's come up is uh, importing CAD into your Revit. Uh, generally what you do is go import CAD and go into your, uh, go find your CAD file. Let's go find it quickly. It's under MR1 Abs. It's ABS. And then, you know, just set up your units and everything, like as it is set up over here. Let's say open. Um, this one should have a problem over here. Here we go. Its geometry is in file ABS has greater extents than one to the extent of nine, so it's not going to work. And see, nothing has come in, so I'm just going to undo whatever might have happened over there. Um, but let's just try and go back into the AutoCAD file and just try and copy paste all the extents of that file into into uh, a, a new AutoCAD file. So let's just go to AutoCAD like this. I'm just going to open it up alongside another one. So, so we've got two AutoCAD files open over here and one's empty. And you just zoom out of this one and select all, copy that, don't zoom out again, and then paste it in this file. And then zoom to the extent of this, and zoom, go to all, and there we go. Okay, I'm going to save this file save as, I'm just going to save it as drawing one on the desktop. Save. Okay, now let's go back to Revit. In Revit, uh, you can just go import, let's go to your desktop, and go to drawing one. And say, just make sure all your import units and everything is correct. Okay, and open. And it still says numerical data within the imported file was out of range. Uh, just ignore that, say close, and it looks like nothing has happened. But just press your ZE key, which is your zoom extents, and there you go, everything's there. Just double check the measurements. You can just go into your building and do a quick measurement of something simple like this little space. And I'm not sure if that's right, but yeah, that seems to be, be quite accurate. But yeah, just try it yourself and see if it works.